Hi guys, myself Ankit. In this video, we shall see another part of a liquid. There are ten bottles, water bottles that are initially full of water. So they are given some number of water bottles, which which is full of water, and you can exchange the M exchange empty water bottle from the market with one full water bottle. So if if you have certain M number of this number of empty water bottles, then you can exchange the empty water bottles with one full water bottle. So the operation of taking full water bottle turns into an empty bottle. So given two integers, num bottles and num exchange, you turn the maximum number of water bottles that you can drink. So what do they mean actually? So the given problem tells that uh, I have taken the second example. So the number of water bottles is fifteen. Number of exchange is four. That are given in the second example. So Initially, you have number of water bottles means they are the full water bottle. So this water bottle you can which you can drink and it may make them empty. So you have fifteen water bottles, right? So you have you drink all of them and you make empty. So you have fifteen empty water bottles. Any number of water bottle, if it is filled, you can drink them and you can make them empty. So you have fifteen full water bottles and you make them empty water bottles. So you have fifteen more. Now what this condition says is. If you have four empty water bottles, then you can exchange those four empty water bottles with one full water bottle. So four empty leads to one full water bottle. So as I said, initially you have all the water bottles filled with water. Fifteen are there. You drink, you drink all the water, and fifty empty water bottles you have now. Now in this, as I said, four empty water bottles you can exchange that to one full water bottle. So this four empty exchange to one. Again, this four empty, exchange to one. Then four empty, exchange to one. But remaining, you have three, which you can't exchange to one because minimum four must be there. Only then you can exchange to one full water bottle. And why are we doing this stuff? Because in the question they have asked, return the maximum number of water bottles that you can drink. So with the existing water bottles, you have to check how many water bottles extra more I can drink, and we have to give the total count. So yeah, you have full water bottle. You empty that. Four, four, four. You exchange and you get one full, and remaining three are there which you can't exchange because minimum four should be there. Empty water bottle. Then you can, then only can exchange to one full water bottle. So once you have three full water bottles now and three empty water bottles, so you can empty this full water bottle, right? So that will lead to six empty water bottles. Three plus three, six. With these six empty water bottles, four can be exchanged to one full water bottle, and remaining two will have which need to be as such. So. This one full water bottle now what you have, you can empty that as well, and that will lead to three empty water bottles. But minimum four empty water bottles are required to exchange with one full water bottle. This operation can't be done. Hence, while performing the um, writing the code, you must uh, take into account number of water bottles. So we have one variable count. So initially you have fifteen, right? That are full, and you empty that. So count will be fifteen initially. Then you empty that. Then four each you replace with one. So these are the full water bottles. Now you are drinking them. So again three. Then six you have empty. You drink all of them and six you have empty. And that four you replace with one. Again one. And two all are empty. So that you replace with three, which you can't exchange with anything. So total you have ninety water bottles which you can drink. Maximum number of water bottles that you can drink. So how do we solve the problem? As I said, one. Variable count we will have, and this count will be initialized to number of water bottles. That is, count equal to number of water bottles initially. Then you later increment with the further whatever water bottles you get. And if you observe, uh, the number of water bottles is fifteen. So num bottles by number of exchange. That is, fifteen by four. Will give you quotient as three. Then num bottles divided by num exchange. That is fifteen modulus four. It will give you um three again. Do you know that? Because four three is a twelve. Three divided by fifteen three is a zero. So this three represents that you are replacing four 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 with one full empty, right? And the remaining 
remainder which you get three uh, represents that the three empty uh, remaining water bottle which you can't exchange to one for water bottle. So to keep track of uh, count the number of bottles in the hill, then you increment the count with count less equals to this question twelve because that is the number of full water bottle which you get. You need to divide it, and the remainder what you get that is the Remaining water bottle which you can't exchange. So for the next round, the total number of water bottles will be three plus three. That is nothing but the quotient and the remainder. So quotient plus remainder. So this entire fifteen, you divide it with remainder. Entire fifteen. Entire fifteen, you divide divide it with the remainder. And the quotient values. Yeah. So this remainder represents three. Then the quotient value which you get divided that represents three. So total in the next round three plus three remainder plus quotient you have. So this was with respect to quotient. This was the remainder. Quotient is nothing but you are replacing. Dividing it by four, right? So four, 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 four. Three times you do that, you replace with the one full water bottle. Next, you empty that also. Now you have six in total. That is for the next round. Question is remaining. For the next time, when you do again same operation, so six by four, so four ones are four, then six more less four. It will give you as remainder as two. As I said before, see one only the water which you have got, you can replace here. So that we have got. So you that add you add that to the count. Count plus equals to quotient. So count equal to count plus before it was count plus fifteen plus three. So it was um, eighteen. Now it becomes plus one more. So that is ninety. And the remainder is two. That is the water bottle which you can't exchange. So for the next round again, you add quotient plus remainder. That is one plus two three. And this time you check. Three is right. You get three. It's the number of water bottles. So while condition, what it should be? Now you have got the number of water bottles lesser than number of exchange. Means you can't perform the exchange of water bottles. That means the while condition should be number of water bottles should be greater than or equal to number of exchange. So until then you perform all these operations. So in summarization, you have all the full water bottles. You do division. And the remainder quotient and the remainder. So quotient you add to the count, and remainder plus quotient you add to the next round. So you do until number of water bottles get equal to exchange. So when you get number of bottles less than exchange, then you stop it because no more exchange is possible. Right? So in count equal to number of bottles, then yeah, why? Number of bottles is greater than or equal to number of exchange. First, uh, find the quotient. So, in quotient equal to number of bottles divide number of exchange. Then, in remainder also, you calculate again number of bottles modulus this time and number of exchange. So once you have quotient and the remainder, so for count you add the quotient only because that is the number of bottles you are replacing, right? So count plus equals to quotient, and for the next round number of bottles will be quotient plus remainder. Right? So at last you return the. Okay, we will run this. Number of bottles equal to quotient plus remainder. Yeah.
uh, beat is 100 percent which means successfully submitted if you have any doubts please drop it in the comment section we'll come to another video in the next session and please subscribe to the channel and keep learning thank you